Hello and a good evening to you from Setubal in Portugal. It's the 10th of September and we are still enjoying a fantastic summer evening here. It's the Eurovision Live concert where ooh, let's say 12 or 14, 15, 16, 17 artists of Eurovision are gathering here yeah, and one is next to me. You all know him. He was at the Eurovision Song Contest 2010 in Oslo. It's Marcin Mojinski. He's right there. Hi, hello, Marcin. Hello. Hi, JP. Hi hello again. <laughs> yeah, hello again. We, we, we keep on bumping into each other. On the yeah, we like seeing each other very often. Uh, national final in Malta was last time, wasn't it? Yeah, that was last time. How did you enjoy that, that uh, national final? I did enjoy it very much because there are a lot of talented people in Malta, uh, a lot of talented artist. Um, I like Glenn Bella very much, he's my friend and I, he was he was perfect. And uh, I, I went there to, to see Thea Gard and record a song together and release a song together. So that was a nice nice experience for me. The song is called uh, In Our Love, which was written by uh, whom? Jason Kassar and Sunny Aquilina, the same people who wrote My Dream for Thea Gard. Which is a fantastic song. But you performed it so well on the national final in Malta. Thank you. It, should, it should actually have been a Eurovision entry. Well, that might be a Eurovision entry, yeah. That's like a Disney song. Very nice, very, very good musical song. Um, well, I think that was something good for me for last year. I've changed a bit. <laughs> I've changed a bit. I lost some some kilograms. I changed my hair. I changed a lot inside. You know, I like like my thoughts about music, about doing something, and I'm a completely new person. So, if 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 I release new songs, they will be very different than before. <laughs> what actually triggered you to change your outfit? Well, I decided that's enough of being like a belly boy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I just needed some change in my life and that was very important for me. Uh, so I lost 25 kilos. <laughs> wow! Tell me the yeah. secret. How did you do that? Lots of gym, lots of exercises and some good diet. Okay, so I'm going to have to, to keep up with it. Yeah, on the radio, a lot of work, a lot of work on that. You know, on the radio you don't see me, so it's, it's not so bad. <laughs> but, but you've been seen uh, performing actually. You're performing live in, in Warsaw at uh, uh, musicals? Yeah, I'm working in musicals. Like every day I'm working at the theatre, uh, doing Les Miserables. Uh, I'm playing Marius in uh, that show. I'm doing some other shows as well because uh, I'm not playing like every night uh, Les Mis, so sometimes I'm playing something something else. I'm also doing some TV series. Um, I'm a German soldier. Oh. Yeah, I'm a German soldier. In Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Nein. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I had to say, because it's Polish TV series, so I had to say everything like in Polish, but the only thing I should have to say was Obersturmbanfield. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that was very difficult because I had to repeat it like a hundred times. Because you know, they had to they had to do like every 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 scene like twenty or fifty times. So in every scene I had to say Obersturmbanfield. <laughs> I said it like forty times, like very correct, and then I started doing very Variations crazy things of like <laughs> that was the best one <laughs> and they were like no cut once more okay uh, whatever <laughs> yeah that was very difficult for me very difficult so Le Miserable in Poland do you play that in Polish or in yeah, French? In Polish in Polish? In Polish, yeah. Can you give us a bit of an example of, of, of a song you performed in Polish? Yeah, I do I do have a song, uh, my own song, like Marius is singing Empty Chairs and Empty Tables. And in Polish it's Puste Stoły, Puste Krzesła. Which is very tough, isn't it? Uh, Puste, what? <laughs> Puste Stoły. Puste Stoły. Puste Krzesła. Puste Krzesła. Yeah, that's difficult, isn't it? I have already forgotten the first one. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. So I have to sing. I have to sing Maria's songs in in in, in Polish. Uh, and when you when you when you have a song with with your with your partner, like uh, saying I love you, it's like very you know sweet. The sound yeah. of I love you in Polish is kocham cię, which is like <laughs> yeah. And you have to be very nice, very sweet, and saying kocham cię, which is very tough. Like, you know, there are a lot of a lot of people from from abroad coming to see the show. And they were like, 
everything was very lovely, like amazing stage, amazing singing, everything. But the language was like difficult and very tough for the listener. Yeah, but I love it. I, I really love it. I'm doing also uh, Notre Dame de Paris. Yeah, ah, oui? Yeah. I'm en français? Uh, non, en polonais. <laughs> uh, mais uh, on, on, va, on va jouer en français aussi? Oui. In <laughs> French? In French. Uh, now now uh, we start playing, <laughs> talking in French. <laughs> no, I just... I just I, I had some some French classes in my in my secondary school, so I remember a bit. But uh, yeah, we are going to, to to play it in French very soon because uh, we used to play it in Polish. But now um, they are having some tour. The original cast is having some tour, so we can play it if we play it in French as well. So uh, yeah, I, I'm going to I'm going to play Clopin in French. Wow. Marcin Mojinski is talking to us and uh, he sang at the Eurovision in 2010 from Poland. But one thing this afternoon, we had a little chat at dinner together. You told us a secret, well it's not a secret, but you have been at auditions. Tell us more about that. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's something something very interesting because uh, I wanted to try myself in, in musicals abroad. Uh, so I went to London for the audition for some Japanese production. Japanese? Yeah, Japanese Oof. production. And they are doing some 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 auditions in Australia, in UK and uh, America. Uh, they did one in, in Australia. They choose the final group. And they went they came to, to, to London to do the audition. And I went for the audition. And from two hundred people they choose ten people for the final group. And I won of the ten, so it's like it's like amazing, you know. I just went there for the audition, and I didn't know what to expect because that was my first time abroad for for the audition. But that was that was amazing. I really loved it. And maybe from February, I uh, will move to Japan. Wow! <laughs> we keep you uh, well, we keep our fingers crossed for you. That it works out well. Yeah, thank you. But then you would have to give up your living in Poland and the TV well, series uh, and yeah, so on. Well, yeah. Well. Yes, that's my choice. I think everything has to be changed. Like I change a lot, so that might be good for me to change the place where I live, the job, what I'm doing. Uh, and well, I have some new song actually. Oh, tell us more about that. I have some new song. Uh, I'm not going to release it like in a month or two because I'm still working on it. But I can say that it's going to be a good song. Yeah, I, I feel it. I feel it. I, I feel it's a good song. It's completely different than songs, you know, uh, of me. Uh, very different. So, yeah, that's that's the surprise. But I, I tell you that I've, I've heard songs of yours, not only Legenda, which we know from Eurovision, but you have performed at national uh, uh, conventions, like in Cologne, you did that. Uh, it really blew a lot of people away. Your voice, your your. Uh, the way you bring it over is so Thank amazing. You. It's really nice. Thank you. Very so much. I, I wish you a lot of good luck with this song. Will it be available to buy for people? Well, yes. If I if I do it, I will I will do it as a single. Uh, a CD single. Yeah. CD. Okay, I'll download download yeah. on on iTunes, perhaps. Yeah. Would be lovely. <laughs> an album in the piano? I'm still working on it, but everything's changed in my life. So the thing I did before, I don't like them that much. You know. No. I feel like no. This must be changed. This must be changed. Maybe this one could be okay, but have to change a lot of things. So it's like working from the very beginning for everything. And I really like it, you know. I'm tw I'm just 25, so I'm like feeling feeling that it's my new life. So I can I can do it. Amazing. Well, one one more thing I have. Uh, I saw you in Düsseldorf actually at the Eurovision this year in 2011. Yeah. Uh, why did you come to Düsseldorf? Well, I, I was invited. Um, uh, I had an invitation from some German fans. They asked me, if you have time, please come to us. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be huge. It's very close from Poland to Germany. And I had two days off. So I said, well, it's very close. It, it is, actually. Uh, I might go there. I might go to see how it's going, how it, if, if the Eurovision is still the same or not. Uh, it was the same, exactly the same. And I went there to, to support Magda, Magdalena Magda Tull. Yes. Yeah, I went there to support her, because uh, she's very lovely. She's such a lovely person, and her song was very good. 
and uh, I went there to, to support her because uh, I really felt that she's like a bit, you know, stressed. Uh, so I want to, do, to give her the energy. A bit of support and energy, yeah. of course. Yeah. Martin, thank you very much for chatting to us. Thank you very we much. We hope to see you sometime soon again. In, yeah, in I hope so. In Australia. Um, who knows? <laughs> keep the fingers crossed, okay? Yeah. All the best. Thanks for the interview, Martin. Thank you, JP. Yeah, all the best. Thank you.